What's up YouTube? My name is Jason and I'm a visual artist. This is a painting of mine from 2018 entitled Inferno and it is oil paint on the book Dante's Inferno by Dante Alighieri on canvas. And this is the first painting of the Intelligent Design series and in today's video I will be discussing some of the techniques that I use to create this particular piece and also what the series is about and what you can expect to see in future pieces. So if you're ready, we'll jump right in. Thanks for checking out the video. So like I said, this is an oil painting on the book Dante's Inferno by Dante Alighieri on canvas. So. I'll talk first about how I created the painting, and then I will talk about the process, and then I will talk about the series itself. So what I first did was I took glue and paste, a combination of glue and paste, and mixed into like a primer kind of, and laid down the whole thing, and then put pieces of the book down. Now, I used pages, I sorted through page by page um, from different cantos that I had already been familiar with about what I wanted to highlight, such as Wood of the Suicides and the, the Sowers of Discord. I wanted to kind of touch upon a few things um, and that were relevant to me and build upon that based on those pieces. So the, the parts of the book that didn't have that particular, those particular parts on it, those are the ones I use as a base coat. I did another layer of glue. I wrapped the edges of the canvas in some places, in some places I didn't. I didn't want it to be so that if one piece came off, everything came off. I wanted it to be so that it could kind of shed as it goes on. So the second layer was then applied, then I did a complete clear coat of that. So there was a, an entire clear coat over that of DeMar varnish. Then I put another layer of glue, another layer of paste, right one on top of the other, and then the final layer of the book. So three layers in, I started to then work down from here. Now in some places there's less because I knew what, I was trying to build some sort of dimension. So I built that out of these parts as I layered it down. Once the base was done, I then applied the figures where I wanted them and using, you know, obviously cutting each piece and putting the words where I wanted them to go. So that's how I made the piece. Now, the, the painting itself is just basically um, three or four colors. It's um, a burnt sienna, which is one of my favorite colors, a thallo blue, and a mix of burnt umber and Van Dyke brown in some places. But that's what gives it the tones. And I really like working in those rusted, muted, like under colors almost. And so I wanted, again, I, my, my goal for this piece was to deliver a feeling. And the feeling was kind of hopeful and dreadful. Hopeful if you know the story, dreadful if you're seeing what you're seeing. And that's kind of, you know, in, in the midst of all this pain and suffering they're walking through. So there's, it's, there's a very interesting contrast there. Using those colors, I felt like gave it that sense of dread and also hope in the distance, in some ways, the way that it, it is lit, the way what appears to be light really is just a, a lightening of the color a little bit, but it allows you as a viewer to actually read the background and, the Im and, and see the images more clearly what they are and the depictions. And so in that way, I feel like it was a good use of the space. And since it's text that I wanted it to be legible, I had to use colors that were translucent so you could see through them. Now, one last thing, I mean, it was more than just the shading and laying everything out. I did want to put some sense of eerie overtones into it. So I put these, some of these, not full faces, just hints of faces in the background so that it just gave an, an overall sense of dread and doom and to what would otherwise just be space empty space and the subjects had more depth to them so the last thing is the series itself now I had been wanting to do something about 
um, the books that have inspired me and motivated me as an artist and also as a, a person. And this was one of them. This book is amazing. It is about it is, it is about Dante being led by Virgil through hell in order to find redemption, which is this, an allegory to humanity's search for redemption through the trials of sin. And that is an amazing story. It at the same time paints people as strong but fragile and strong-minded but weak-spirited. And all these things that, that seem sad and make people fragile is also what makes them beautiful. And in that way, the painting itself being made out of paper has the same effect. This is not permanent. It is not the metal paintings that I've made in the past and continue to make now. It will not last and is not durable like them. This is paper. Now you could encase it in glass and you could do all sorts of things to permanently preserve it, of course, but that's not what I need it for. And I want to live with this painting and I want to show this painting and enjoy the painting and watch it as it changes. I've already seen parts of it fall off. You can see that, you know, they're going to. And it's designed to do that. So the, these pieces that look like, when they come off, it won't destroy the painting. They'll just be gone and that'll be that. So that's the life of this. And the prints that are taken from this will change as a result of how this changes also. So there is somewhat of an interesting factor there um, as far as making prints that have some differentiated value from one from the other inherently if not added by myself but so that's basically the idea of what, how the series came to be was that I wanted to pay homage to some of these um, books and the authors that wrote them in an attempt to show how I see it you know and express that visually so I've done other paintings I've done a Dostoevsky a crime and punishment which I will not be doing a video for because I have sold the painting I have also sold the picture of Dorian Gray, so I will not be making a video about that, but I still do have The Sickness Unto Death by Kierkegaard, so I will be doing a video about that, and you should be seeing that shortly. And I have um, Truth and Currency, and I have another one. Uh, I'm working right now on Brave New World, so, and I've already actually done Brave New World and then kind of took it apart at some point, so I'm going to basically redo it and I'm very excited about that and so thank you for taking the time to check out the video I know it's a little bit longer than the other ones but this kind of I had to explain quite a bit in this one so I'm going to do a, another walkthrough I think that does cover it so thank you guys for checking out the art if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you like these videos in general I would appreciate it if you become a subscriber it would really be helpful so thank you very much thank you for supporting the arts